Hello, this is Bud, and I'm going to show you how to set up a group discussion board. First, we'll create a forum, and then we'll use uh, threads to create individual groups. This is helpful when you have a large cohort, so rather than 20 folks all trying to chime in on the same discussion, you can break them into smaller groups and often you'll get more robust discussions when you do that. And it also helps the students to kind of get to know each other a little bit. So first we go to the discussion board and you can see I'm in the faculty site. So it's a good place to play around with. So you just click on faculty discussions and this is where you're going to end up. And you go to create forum. Now there's two things. There's create forum and then create thread. It's one general forum for the discussion, and then you're going to create the threads for the individual groups. So start with creating forum. And then it brings up the create forum. And so this will be our week, week XX discussion. Okay, and then you can type something in here like open this forum to participate participate in this week's discussion. And most importantly, you want to set the permissions before you hit submit. So you're going to have to scroll down. And here we get forum settings. This one's an important one to click on. Allow author to edit their own posts. That way, if they make a mistake once they've posted it, they can go in and correct it. And then, since we're breaking them into groups, you don't want to allow the members to subscribe to forum because then they would be getting an email alert every time someone posts to the forum. You want them to subscribe to their own threads, or at least allow that if they choose to do so. And scroll down to the bottom and hit submit. And the new forum always shows up at the bottom, so or at least it does for me. So then we go here and we click on the forum. And now we create a thread for each group. So here we'll create threads and group. Group one is going to be Bob, Bud, Al, and Glenn. And that is where we put in the group question. How many ways are there to skin a cat? Okay, hopefully I don't have too many cat lovers in the group. But the, uh, so there's our question. And you can see there really aren't many options at this point. And you hit submit. So then group one members will go in there. We create our thread for group two. OUP2, that would be norm dot Cynthia and Paul. And here we get the same question. How many ways are there to skin a cat. And what I'm going to do simply here is I copy that control C to copy it to the clipboard so I don't have to keep typing it in for all the other groups. Hit submit. There's group two and we'll create one more group for this. Group three and that will be Virginia, Cody, and, oh, no, 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 Rick, and Steve. And I come down here, just hit Control V, Victor, to paste it in, submit. And there I have my three groups. And they're all set up. And notice that as soon as you 